Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Dorset Marine Training. For those of you that follow our social media and Facebook in particular, you will know that last week I was teaching a VHF radio course in the classroom when a lady interrupted me, one of our students, and said, why do the words on my screen not seem to make any sense and why are they different to the radio next to me? Stop me in my tracks for a minute until I realised that some previous students had been busy changing channel names on there. Fortunately, there was nothing too rude came up, but it didn't make it very helpful for the next student. And I know that this is actually could be a really useful feature for you if you have got your own radio so that you can name the channels as to the functions that they have. So channel 1616, as you can see here, is the distress, safety and calling channel. Channel 80 is a marina channel. If you can program your radio to have those words underneath, it will make it a lot easier for you. And it's actually a really simple fix. If you look at the bottom here, we're looking at the ICOM M323 radio here. Here's the model name here. Along the bottom, we've got soft keys on this particular radio. And if we scroll along with using these arrow keys, you will see that the menu options along here change as we scroll. If we scroll along until the word name comes up, then press the soft key underneath it, what that allows us to do is actually change the name. So in this particular case, we're going to change that back to distress. So we scroll through, just picking the letters that we need. If we were to make a mistake, we can just go back using the arrow keys. And when we've completed the word that we want, we scroll along until the word finish, press enter, and like magic, the word underneath there has changed to the name we have just input. Really useful little feature there. Hopefully that's really easy for you. If for any reason the word name doesn't come up along the bottom here, if you go to menu, then scroll down to configuration, then to key assignment, then to soft keys, you can actually program those words to come in along the bottom. So in this case, name is already assigned to soft key 7. If we scroll down to soft key 11, soft key 10, those haven't actually been used yet. So if we needed to put in another word, we could put it in there. If we go right back to the front screen though, you'll see that our name is already there for us for future use. Just a really quick and easy video just to show you how to change things on there, but if you've got any other topics you want covering, drop us a line and we'll try to cover it in a future video for you. Thank you.